Hello there, internet friends. I do a lot of hiking and like to show where I've gone. And I was looking on the internet the other day for some ideas on how to do that with maps and routing and animation and didn't find much. So I decided to create a video to show some ideas on different ways to display this on a video and a brief tutorial. Uh, I do use uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12, so it'll be mostly for that. Uh, but the ideas and concepts should apply to whatever tool you're using. This first one is pretty straightforward. It's just taking a video of a map with you using some kind of pointy object to show where you've been and, and narrate over top of it. Now this next one is pretty straightforward as well. We basically take an image of a map that we get off the internet and load it into our timeline. Once we load it, we extend the time that we want to show the uh, flyover. And then we open up the event pan and crop option. Uh, and then we shrink the size so that it's zooming in on a specific area of the map that we're going to start at. And then what we'll do is set a number of keyframes along the route uh, to help indicate where the trail was that we went down. Um, one of the things I like to do is whenever I'm setting the keyframes is stop over a certain area. So I'll put a couple of them in there at the same uh, location uh, on there. So. just like we're doing here. All right, so that one's pretty easy. Just take a map, import it, and do a flyover. Now let's uh, take a look and see how that looks. All right, this next example is what I like to refer to as my claymation sequence. I'm basically taking a physical map, taping it down to make sure it doesn't move, and moving an object uh, or stickies along this. Um, you'll notice uh, in the video I'm using my cell phone and I'm using the voice activated option to actually take the still pictures. So pretty simple. Uh, once you're done, you basically import those images into uh, your video editor and then uh, just display them with about a two second time frame. This next one is also a time lapse. We're gonna take a image and we're going to create some, uh, what I just use dots on the actual image. Uh, we'll save the original one without anything on it and then we'll uh, adjust the map, create dots where showing our path was and then we will save that and rinse and repeat. Uh, pretty straightforward. Again, then whenever we get into the video editor, uh, it's as simple as importing all those. Again, I'll show that we'll import them with about a two second uh, time frame via the uh, options uh, here. Um, and then we just uh, display them in sequence. Uh, so this uh, doesn't take much. The program I was using there for editing was uh, MS Paint. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll uh, take a second at this, take a look at this one here in a second as well and see how that looks. Now this next option is uh, fairly straightforward in its simplest form, uh, but we're going to open up a program like MS Paint and uh, draw a line on the actual image that we got off the internet. Um, what I do is I save an original copy of this, and then for each direction, so either left to right or top to bottom, whenever I change directions, I'll save off a copy um, of that. So this is just showing one, but if I went down from this point on that map, I would uh, save a a next version of that file. Um, within here, uh, within the video editor, then you basically take the base map or the original one, lay that on the bottom, and then take the image that has the path on it um, and lay that on top of the other image. And then what we're going to do here is add a transition uh, to the top image 
little wipe uh, from, I think in this case, left to right. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to uh, display that top map um, by wiping um, from left to right so you can then see the trail display uh, kind of behind the scenes. It's pretty simple and if it's just a left to right let's say but we'll show here in a second how it can get more complicated. So this trail goes in a circle um, clockwise and so what I've had to do is create a number of images in MS Paint um, with each change of direction. Um, so in this one you'll see now I'm adding um, the base map which is the, the previous map that I was using which had the line across it and then I add on top of that the the new line that I want to show and then again add the transition. Um, so simple concept, I'm just going to repeat that, I'm not going to show all of them but there's probably eight different changes of direction that I did to create this. Um, so for each one I then had to go in and repeat this process uh, over and over again. So after I got all the eight segments what I then did is rendered the video um, and then I pulled that rendered video back into my video editor and got rid of kind of all the noise um, around it. So there were sections that were uh, kind of a pause as it waited for the screen to wipe from left to right and then I just got rid of that um, and sometimes I sped up the frame so that it kind of all uh, gelled together uh, at the same speed so what you're kind of seeing now is an example of the final output of what that looks like. And in this final one I used a uh, uh, image editor um, and a software uh, to capture my screen uh, in a movie. So basically what I'm able to do from this is actually draw the line at the speed that I want. It takes a steady hand and then I just take a, uh, that video that I created and put it into the video editor. That's it. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this was helpful to somebody. Now here we are on top of Tanaya Peak, the actual peak. Look at Natalie. You should see me. I'm holding on to her for dear life. But I'm kind of up here. I can't really see it. This is very good video. That's Tanaya Lake.